Hi, welcome to FedScoop TV. I'm Dan Verton, Editorial Director with FedScoop. I'm here today talking with Soparno ba Banerjee. Is that correct, sir? Yes. yes. Uh, Soparno is the Vice President of Public Sector Programs at HP. Soparno, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. A pleasure to be uh, here. So we're at the sixth annual Lowering the Cost of Government with IT Summit mm -hmm. and wanted to see, uh, get your perspective on what some of the immediate opportunities today are for leveraging IT or emerging technologies to lower the cost of government. It's a great question. I think the federal government has made some tremendous progress in getting cost out of the system through consolidation, uh, both in the IT infrastructure as well as in shared services applications. I think the next step in efficiencies and gains will come from using cloud, which will allow, it to, allow us to move to a different business model, and also mobility and big data, which will allow for services to be delivered differently and for deep insights to be gained about the end user, the citizen, the small business. And it's the combination of that that's going to drive the next generation of IT savings, I believe. Great. What role do you think open data has played uh, during the past year in helping to improve government efficiency? I think we are just uh, scratching the surface of open data. Uh, the federal government has been at the forefront in terms of opening up its data sets and establishing standards in really creating a free and open, if you will, market for multiple players to come in and create value. So we are at that stage where the external partners, other government agencies are, are actually using the information and understanding the information, using and creating applications. We're seeing the first signs of some real value, for example, in the agriculture sector where they're using weather data and the others to, you know, kind of talk to farmers about when to plant, how to water, when to mm -hmm. fertilize, and yielding some tremendous benefits. But I think the next scale of benefits are yet to come over the next three to five years. I want to talk to you a little bit about the budget pressures uh, mm -hmm. that agencies are feeling today. Um, there's a lot of talk about you know, this push to the lowest technical price technically feasible, uh, this push to the bottom, if you will. Uh, do you believe agencies are still getting the best value in their IT acquisitions? I think they are. I think the government is making some really positive strides in terms of moving its procurement model. Uh, as I see it, the federal IT budgets will be flat for some time to come. The external environment just will not allow that to happen. And given the pressures of what citizens need in terms of services that need to be delivered in terms of the external global environment, the federal government, the IT side, will become incredibly effective at using every last dollar. And therefore, I believe the conversation will shift from just managing cost to enhancing value. And that's where I think the government has, is making really good strides. Yeah. There's lots, obviously, a long way to go, but if we are all headed in the right direction. Let me ask you to take out your crystal ball, if you will, and look mm -hmm. into the future, maybe five or 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what will the federal IT ecosystem look like in your mind, and, and do you, will it cost less or more money to operate? Let me answer that last bit first. It, today, if you just average it out, federal IT dollars divided by the number of people in the US, it costs about $320 per person. I think that will remain about the same, may even decline. But what we get out of that will be vastly different because of this ecosystem that you mentioned. And I think we will have a really vibrant ecosystem of large players or small players and the ecosystem will also include other tiers of government, state governments, local governments. We are all in this together, and I think this ecosystem will come together to identify uh, new solutions, incubate and try these very rapidly, fail fast, if you will, and then scale up to deliver value. So I think that ecosystem is gonna get bigger, it's gonna get more complex, but it's gonna get incredibly vibrant. Soparno, thank you so much for your time today. Appreciate it. Thank you. A pleasure. I'm Dan Verton. You've been watching FedScoop TV. Thanks very much.